Hello, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make this pretty pendant. Uh, for this pendant I was using uh, uh, 18 millimeter square rhinestone. Uh, I have already made the bezel for it and we'll put the link down below so that you can see how it looks. This is the bezel the back side and the front side so uh, for the bezel you're gonna need 12 pieces of uh, four millimeter rondelles and everything else is made with 11 no seed beads I was using two colors but you can make everything in one color so uh, the rest of the material for this uh, pendant they are not, we have six millimeter rondelles only uh, eight pieces they are here two 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 and two then we have eight millimeter rondelles only four pieces here on the corners and uh, four pieces of four millimeter pearls and I was using 11 O seed beads and 12 O seed beads this is how it looks from the front side and this is how it looks from the back side. That's kind of cool. Okay, so uh, I have finished uh, my tutorial about uh, bezeling and have exited here and we will start from this place as soon as I put my beads here and we'll show you the colors that I have chosen for the rest of the pendant. So here are my beads. I have chosen white uh, pearls and transparent uh, crystals and these are transparent blue 6 millimeter beads and my 11 0 and 12 0 beads. So so from this place I'm going to pick one 11 0 seed bead, one 6 millimeter rondelle, and one 11 0 seed bead. Then I'm just going through this center bead. You see, it's this corner of the bezel. See? Then I'm going to do the same thing again. One eleven o, one rondel, and one eleven o, and I'm going two beads down, but from this center bead. See it's here. Two beads down, and I'm going directly two beads up, so that I can position myself. In the same place from where I have started okay so you will have to repeat this step here here and here okay right here and you can exit here through this bead when you add your last bead just go down climb up through this bead and exit here okay but first add the rest of the beads okay so I have added the rest of my six meter millimeter rondelles and I'm I have finished with them so I have exited here now we need to put uh, in the corners eight millimeter rondelles and in between we will be putting the four millimeter pearls so I'm gonna pick one 11 0 seed bead one rondelle and one 11 0 seed bead and I'm going through this next six millimeter rondelle just like this then I'm picking 11 0 again 
then pearl and 11 lc bead and i'm going through this next rondo this step is so easy and you can continue around all by yourself just put uh, eight millimeter rondelles here at the corners and in between your pearls but don't forget to put C beads always here in between and this is how the work looks now so I have added my pearl and uh, I went through this rondelle and through this 11 C beads now above every uh, eight millimeter rondelle in the corner I'm gonna put 10 C beads then we'll go down and exit here next to the pearl and we'll add four C beads then we'll go through all these beads and add 10 then four okay like this so I'm picking 11 O C beads two three oh. I hate, I need to change this mat, it's already worn. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Do I have ten? Yes. So, from this seed bead, I'm going down through this one and through the rondelle like this and through this bead right here next to the pearl so that I can add four beads above my pearl but I always have to go through the pearls just like this then through this C bead. Now I'm right here where I was when I have started adding my beads. All right, so add 10 beads here and four here all the way around. Okay, so I have added my last four beads here and have exited from this bead. Now I will have to go through this rondelle and through this bead and through one, two, three, four, five beads so that I can exit here from this top right here, okay? Just go through all these beads, climb up here at the center, right here. You see? Through this one, two, three, four, five, six, seven beads all together. So here I am right now and now I'm going to take one 12 o bead. If you don't have 12 o's you can use uh, 15 o's too. And I'm going five beads down like this. Okay. And and now I have this little peak. So from this bead, so I didn't went through this bead, which is right next to the rondelle. I have exited here from this fifth bead from the this uh, part. One, two, three, four, five. And now I'm going to pick four 11 O's. And we'll go through these two beads right here so that I can exit exit right above my pearl where I can add my another 12 o bead and I'm going two beads down Wait, I will try to enlarge this a little bit more. And I'm going to pick four beads again. 11 O's. Four. So 
I'm skipping this one and I'm going through these five beads so that I can exit through the top of my at the top of my eight millimeter rondel where I will place my little beak here with 12 OB. Okay, and I'm going five beads down and one more. Okay. You see? So here in these empty spots, you will have to place four beads and you are going only through these uh, arches that we made in our previous step through these two and then you can place one bead smaller bead here and two beads down then five beads beads up starting from this bead not this one which is first one uh, next to the rondelle but the second bead and then you count five and you put one here then five down then four all the way around okay so um i have added these four beads right here and went only through this first bead the, these these are my last four beads from this step and went only through this first bead so from this bead i'm gonna go through this rondelle so that i can exit on the other side okay from this rondelle i'm gonna pick four double seed beads and I'm gonna go down through this center bead right here. This is the bead from our bezel when we were making our corners. And this is the center bead. So I'm gonna go only through this bead. This is the heaviest part of this um, pendant. So, okay. I think I did it. Yes. Okay, okay, okay. Come on. Okay, I have exited on the other side. Now I just need to go back. Okay. And I'm gonna pick four beads again. One, two, three, four. And I'm going through this rondel like this. You see? Now I have to go through this first bead right here. It's when you count one, two, three, four, five. So I have to go through this bead and through these four like this this is the hardest hardest part of all this because we will need to pick a lot come on it's like this then i'm going through these four beads So from these four fourth bead, we need to pick five, one, two, three, four, no, three, four, five beads. And from this fourth bead, we are going through this rondelle. 
only through the rondel. Come on, come on. Uh -huh, okay. Only through the rondel. Like this. Then I'm picking five beads again. One, two, three, four, five. And I'm going through these four beads above the six millimeter rondel. Only through these four. Come on. Let's go here. Okay. Like this. Then we need to go through this first bead and through the eight millimeter rondel. Then we are adding, repeating this step again. Okay. We will have to do this all the way around. And uh, then we will finish our pendant. So uh, this is how my pendant looks and it is finished. Now you can decide uh, if you want to put your clasp here so that it hang hangs like this or you can put it like this so you have a square. So uh, when I added my last step here these five beads I went through these four beads and through this first one and then I went through the crystal here exited here through this bead and went up so that I can exit here through this stuff part I'm gonna put my uh, clasp here so I'm gonna make a little loop uh, if you want to put your clasp uh, here uh, when you exit through the rhinestone you just go through these beads until you exit here and then you will make your loop right here so I'm just gonna pick five 12 beads like this and we'll go through this little bead here now I'm gonna go down through these four beads and I will go through the crystal and will climb climb up through the four uh, uh, no through the three beads okay let's see so I'm going down through these four beads and then going through the rondel and i'm going three beads up then i'm gonna pick one 12 bow and we'll go hey come on through these beads so that I can exit here and then I'm gonna pick only one so I'm skipping the first bead and going three beads down again like this okay now I'm gonna tie my knot here and we'll go through the crystal then through all these beads and we'll tie maybe one more uh, knot here or here and that will be it here it is all done it's so shiny and sparkly I really love this design I don't know it's a little bit like um, renaissance so I'm going to name it once upon a time because it's really look like a, something from a fairy tale. I love it.
This is the back side. It's really nice and neat. And this is how it looks. So I have a white version and a blue one. Okay, guys, so I hope you liked this tutorial and uh, that you are satisfied with what you have made and what I have made. <laughs> and hope to see you next time, guys. Ciao!